Acid hydrolases are enzymes. Okay, so these are enzymes. Most of them are able to cut particular molecules. They could be cutting proteins. And if they cut proteins, they're called proteases. If they cut nucleotides, They're called nucleases. They cut sugars. They're glycosylases. And there's many, 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 many of these acid hydrolases. Now, the interesting part is that your cell has to make each and every one of these acid hydrolases in it, right? The biosynthetic pathway synthetic, sorry, or the exocytic pathway where you make these is rich in all sorts of proteins, nucleotides, sugars, all sorts of things, and you wouldn't want to cut up things that are being made for the use of your cell. So the way these enzymes get turned on, okay, to turn them on, they have to be placed in an environment where the pH is low. So they're looking for a place where pH is low. Hello cell biology fans and my biology 107 fans as well. I just wanted to make this quick little tutorial to talk about how acid hydrolases become active when they are transported through the exocytic pathway and placed into the endocytic pathway where they actually function. So let's take a step back. So here I'm showing you the endocytic pathway and these purple items that are in the membranes of early endosomes, late endosomes, and lysosomes are the proton pumps that we talked about. They are also called vacuolar ATPases. And their function is to allow, is to pump, so that means it requires some energy, protons into the lumen of these organelles. Okay. So all of these organelles get protons pumped into their lumen and you might be asking where do these protons come from well you are bathed in seventy percent water so your cytosol has water and water is always in equilibrium between protons and hydroxide ions and so there's lots and lots of protons around and they easily can get into the lumen of these organelles and they lower the pH the pH remember outside the cell okay outside the cell here is approximately 7. When you get into an early endosome, the pH is approximately 6.5. When you get to a late endosome, 5.5, and, and the lysosome is less than 4.5. So these proton pumps use energy. That's why they're also called vacuolar ATPases. It requires energy to pump against the gradient. That means there's a lot of these protons in early endosomes, more in late endosomes, and even more in lysosomes. Why do we care? Well, in the exocytic pathway, you are making enzymes. So this blue squiggle is the enzyme, the acid hydrolase, right? That it starts being made on the ER. So this is the ER, and it should have some ribosomes on it, but I didn't draw those in. Okay, so the rough ER. And as it gets transported from the rough ER to the ergic to the Golgi and through the Golgi stacks, you don't want it to be active. So in these areas, that particular enzyme is not active. And that's because the pH is not low enough in these areas. So the pH in these areas is approximately 7. However, when it gets transported from the trans-Golgi, right here, over to an early endosome, if this 
enzyme, the blue squiggle, was activated at pH 6.5, you would see it would be active right there and it may stay right in an early endosome. Some enzymes get transported from the early endosome in a vesicle to the late endosome and then they're active there if they're active at pH around five and a half. And then finally, some enzymes actually get transported to the lysosome where a lot of the degradation occurs. And then at pH less than 4.5, right, they become active. This is a mechanism to protect yourself from not destroying the enzymes as they're being made and not destroying things on the biosynthetic pathway. So just remember that you need several things and the things you need to make this work are the vacuolar ATPase which is also called a proton pump that's what it's actually doing it's pumping protons into the lumen of the endocytic vesicles and then you need the synthesis or the biosynthesis of these enzymes that go through the endocytic pathway en route to their final destination, which could be, right, they could end up in early endosomes, late endosomes, or lysosomes. I hope that explains it for you, and if it doesn't, please give me an email and I will help you out the best I can. Have a great day.